The Columbia High Speed and Millimeter Wave IC Lab, also known as Cosmic Lab, works at the intersection between applied physics and engineering. So we look to make advances in applied physics, specifically uh, applied electromagnetics, but at the same time translate those advances to practical engineering applications. The specific applications that we work on revolve around high frequency wireless, so we work on problems uh, related to communications, imaging, sensing, and radar, and the platform with which we implement uh, these innovations are, is integrated circuits, so semiconductor chips. So we build chips that implement these innovations in the applied physics world for applications in high-frequency wireless. NSF um, EFRI, or EFRI, Emerging Frontiers in Research and Innovation Project, um, is a large uh, uh, project that the NSF supports uh, on a yearly basis to make uh, transformative advances that are at the cutting edge of um, scientific research and innovation. Uh, Columbia University leads a particular uh, EFRI project called New Law, which is looking to discover new ways of manipulating wave propagation. Uh, and this could be any kind of wave. This could be a light wave, this could be a sound wave, or radio frequency waves. Uh, on this project, Columbia is collaborating with uh, Cornell University and the University of Chicago. And specifically, we are looking to break the reciprocity of wave propagation. Reciprocal wave propagation means that waves propagate in the same manner in forward and reverse directions. However, if you could break reciprocity, then you could build these new kinds of devices that only allow waves to, say, propagate in the forward direction, but not in the reverse direction, as one example. Every program has been uh, funding uh, us uh, for building integrated uh, non-reciprocal uh, components, and particularly we are concentrating on a certain set of non-reciprocal components called circulators, in which basically it is a unidirectional component where a port one can talk to port two, port two can talk to port three, and so on. This brings these integrated non-reciprocal components into a frontier of actual application space uh, than a mere uh, scientific curiosity. Non-reciprocal components have a lot of different applications for supporting emerging communication paradigms. So one of the applications that we work on is on full duplex wireless communications. So essentially radios are able to perform simultaneous transmission and reception on the same frequency channel, which is a capability that is currently not supported by existing devices. Existing wireless systems operate in half duplex mode, where radios transmit and receive in either different time slots or in different frequency channels. Um, however, in order to enable full duplex communication, uh, there's a need to cancel the self-interference that leaks from the radio's transmitter port into the receiver port by a huge amount. So this cancellation has to be done across several domains at the antenna interface, in the RF domain, in digital domain as well. The non-reciprocal components can be used as one you know, unique antenna interface that can provide a certain amount of uh, suppression and cancellation of self-interference. It also has applications applied in other areas as well. The outreach on this project brings K-12 teachers to campus inside labs. We are bringing them here to campus, uh, giving them a crash course in, in the research. We're mentoring them very closely. The teachers then in turn mentor their own students um, and bring some of the, the technology that they learn about back into the classroom with them. The outreach is really important for translating the social impact of the research and, and really making it practical and making it accessible. Wireless plays a tremendous role in society today. A lot of the technologies that Cosmic Lab works on today um, are very relevant for emerging wireless communications, what we call 5G. I think now with 5G and future 6G technologies, we're at the beginning of the third wireless revolution. And what I think in this revolution, wireless will do for us is it will give us new ways to experience the real world, the physical world. And it's really exciting to work on some of the technologies that will be a part of this next wireless revolution. We're bringing this cutting edge research to the rest of the world and helping people understand how engineering can, can change the world.